jump in. We're exactly a thousand elo on the dot. Jump into some three minute games. Okay. E4 and the quick D5. He's coming with the quickness, but I wonder, does he realize that he's been suckered in to the undefeated? Does he even know? Does he know? E6 ain't the move, Chief. Losing your knight here, I just attacked it. The undefeated. Claims yet another victim. Whoa! I respect that move for sure. I mean, queen takes lost that, knight takes lost the pawn, so... You have my respect, that's... Hopefully that's enough. We got a couple more checks in the position. Plus, remember, I'm up a piece here, so that should be good enough. Rook b6. Let me just go ahead and take this. We're going to get our queen back into the game with tempo, I might add and snag a pawn in the process. King's not great there, blocking the bishop. There, okay, let's develop. You see this, so all I'm thinking right now is bishop to g5, bishop to g5, bishop to g5. <laughs> uh, hey, credit to him, it's all he was thinking there as well. Go d4. Oh. This is going to be a quick execution. There's no way he can resist giving me a check. If he gives me a check, he wins the game. Those are the rules. Yeah, see? <laughs> Too late, my friend. Now you'll now you'll never win. He's a very speedy player. And you know what's weird? I feel like he's such a quick player, but I'm up on time here. I don't even feel like I'm playing that fast. This one makes it easier, because then we just take every single one of his pieces. Now, we can actually do the infamous seven bishops here. It is possible. Yeah, this is a rare one. And he's a quick player. Oh, I think he realized it's lost now. Damn it. <laughs> How do you come this far and then say to yourself, I I've been beaten, you know? I've been bested by a better man.
Damn it. Well, we're going to be teased for a while about this seven bishop checkmate. We could get seven bishops here and arrange them so beautifully to checkmate a king in the corner. That's all we want. You know, I want one thing and it's disgusting. Seven bishop checkmate. I'll have to keep working. You know, I'll have to keep being the best version of myself and Hopefully, God willing, the, the bishop checkmate presents itself. Okay, we're continuing e4, and we do see e6. So, We'll, of course, continue with uh, our fantastic opening. It's like the... It's a version of the... It's a cousin of the undefeated. <laughs> I wish we had checkmate down here, but we, <laughs> we don't. Okay, so... Queen takes a8 is possible. Queen c8 check is possible. Hmm. The thing is, queen here, king e7, I don't like. If I had bishop a3, that'd be great, but I don't really. But, for sure, I will not expect to move b3 here. Has to be this. That's the only, only move you're considering. Yes. Okay, we're going to put you out of your misery real quick. Sometimes, you know, you got to take some risks. You just got to read the, the opponent. Mm hmm. Dr. Ron Happy Shorts, you would have gone for the Rook. And you know what? I couldn't say a bad thing about that idea, but that's just the difference between you and I. You would play the best move and I would gamble it all. I would, you know, I would, I would literally flip a coin. We'll take that and go to the next one. All right, e4, e5, going for the first move. Going for our openings here. So d4, I haven't seen that move too much. Feels like we should probably take this. Of course I want to go here, but knight g5? How are we handling that? Maybe there's a d5 move, I don't know. Seems like the answer is no. Yeah, I think we'll have to take that. Uh, 
Castled. So here, knight e5 appears to be the move. Kind of uh, doing everything at once. I'm not going to draw one more arrow. Let's take this. Seven or just bishop back, both look all right. Feels like the queen kind of wants to go to e7. The thing about this is my c6 pawn is a little bit weak. Start with this and let's get castle. A5 and bishop A6 is almost a guaranteed uh, like piece of material there. But we'll hold off and go like this for now. But yeah, A5, bishop A6 is not getting stopped anytime soon. So let's take that. Um, okay, let's play A5, winning material by force. All right, let's win the material we were talking about. Ahead and grab that. E6, stopping E5, defending the pawn. Queen C4 is a pretty decent reaction just to get back attacking the C6 pawn. Attack this, and we see B3. Probably chuck the rook out to B4. Now the knight's tied down to that pawn, and there's no Queen C4. Okay. This looks like a good move, but I think we're going to go for the habits first. Little h6. Just to let you guys know, I'm uh, I'm doing the habits too. Alright, rook over. This is actually tricky after knight f5. Wow. Respect. Okay. And we definitely want to play g6. It's going to be a fantastic move against this knight. Why'd you get an 18 plus warning? Well, uh, it's just to let you know, to remind you that uh, people in this stream watching are over the age of 18. Right? This isn't like... Uh, Karu or Gotham Chess, you know, there are real adults in the channel and we just want to make sure that you're aware of that. Make sure you use your big kid voice. All right, let's uh, bother the knight. I'm kind of hopeful that he takes, but I think he knows a bit better than that. I thought he did. I thought. That's going to help me out big time. G. 
to Loth Moss. Someone said in chat, this is Lost Moose alt. Lost Moose's alt account. Not too bad at all for a sub 1k. We're talking about three digit elos right here. I don't think he did poorly at all. GG. Uh, D4 also puts the question to me because. Yeah, night, uh... night there's kind of important. Hmm. Let's see here. There we go. Interesting. I was wondering. Yeah, it was. We were a little zoomed in there. Because I want to do this, but then Knight G5 actually uh, start thinking about resigning. All right, let's go for the next one. E4, you guys are used to that. Now we're gonna go for the pre-move knight f3. Doesn't, uh, doesn't get us too bad of a position. Because d5, they're always pre-moving uh, d5 or playing it for the most part as a French player. And then this, hey, winning that b7 pawn a lot of the time i'm not complaining i'm just gonna get the queen the heck out of there and yeah stay on c2 and develop and castle d4 looks tempting but it allows him to play moves like e5 and open things up if e5 happens now, I'd rather give black the pawn on e5 rather than have my pawn here, and then I'm forced to react to it. e5, I don't need to react to. We're gonna continue developing, rook e1, knight d2. Yeah, our queen went here, 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 here. Trades are definitely very nice for me, so I am gonna oblige. So I can simply replace that knight with another one. Hmm. Okay. First gonna go here just to see what my opponent does. Because yeah, so I had a feeling this might happen. I have a couple options here. Knight c4 and bishop c6 both look like pretty decent moves. So knight c4 forked. We will see bishop takes h2. And king here, and the queen has really nowhere to go in the position that continues to protect the bishop. So, should be good with this. Doesn't take the pawn, probably smart. I can think about moves like that. This one drops that, but there's gonna be nothing here that I think is more simple than just taking these. Taking in either way works, but technically if I take here, there's bishop h2 to deal with, so I'm thinking that I'm going to take like this so that it's not even a bother. And if you take here, I'll, I'll jump back with the knight. Yeah, probably last try is knight g4, but I think we have uh, g3 here. Queen h5, and Maybe even f3. We can just go back like this. Force the knight to retreat somewhere for this move, but I think we're happy to happy to trade pieces. Let's get the king up so the queen does not have access to those squares. Here, we have five. Seems fine though. I'll go queen d1, queen f5, maybe d4. 
And G5, unfortunately for him, is going to be pretty easy for me now. Okay, hang on a sec. There's a seven bishop potential here. Anyone getting the seven bishop vibes that I'm getting? Hold on now. Tough to execute, but possible. went back. Damn. My opponent's not gonna have enough time. We got closer and closer to it. Just needed two bishops. And, oh, you know, I just gotta keep being myself, trusting the process. It'll happen. Hey, he fought the entire way, 91 moves. This French defense, by the way, it, this is our opening, so you think I'm here just messing around toying with 1000s? No, I'm messing around toying with 1000s with brand new openings! Nobody has any idea what the hell C3 is. Nobody against the French. You pre-move knight f3, of course they're gonna take. Look at it from Black's perspective. You play the French, someone plays this, you're like, okay, what the hell, I'm just gonna, I'm better, like, <laughs> I'm totally fine. They play this, how are you not taking? Especially pre-moved, it looks like a blunder. Then this happens, you're like, okay, bishop d7, most natural move to block a check and attack the thing that checked me. And then here, not every, I mean, usually you're gonna wanna just keep attacking the queen, so you're blundering this pawn already. But even bishop c6, we have answers to, so. Just a very, uh, very comfortable opening. I've really been liking our, our French, which I believe we gave a name. Did we not call it the Cobra?
just chatting stream. Hey, good point. I keep forgetting the uh, the late night categories are not always good for the morning, the next morning streams. You guys are just chatting. I'm not just chatting. I'm doing something else as well, but you guys are just chatting. Okay, E4, E5. Now, Knight C3, I guess I'm gonna go here. Just hoping for like a move like that. D3, I will play our system, which is just involves doing that. Remember, Knight D5 will always come back with the queen. No problem, no problem. We need to remove this knight. Remember, our, our plan usually involves h6, queen f6, knight f4. So how am I gonna achieve that plan? By getting rid of this knight, right? There's no way I can do all the stuff I wanna do without eliminating this knight first. Wow, a 1000 just with c3 and knight e3? I'm in complete shock. That's very impressive. Very impressive. Okay, here I believe we are going to take and we can get a nice... Remember, we didn't play knight f6 this game. We played knight e7. The whole point is eventually we might want to play f5. This knight's going to be no good there, so... I think this helps a lot. Bishop g4 threatens to win the game, so... This needs an answer. We might see a move like this, which loses to two different moves. A great response, though. We'll attack that. Unsurprisingly, the move uh, Rookie 1 is prepared and ready to go. Rookie 8, G5. I'm gonna force Knight G2. Yeah, I think g5 is very good here. Versus that, and then queen takes f3. And we can just keep putting the pressure on f1. That will always be a checkmate threat, so it needs to have something watching over that for the rest of the game. Ready. I'll take this. Fine, I'll take it. I think it's kind of stuck there. This knight's also not really going anywhere. That's checkmate. I think knight d2 will be played. It happens to cover mate, but okay. There we go. Checkmate's covered. That means now he can't, I mean, he can't really move, right? All the pieces are kind of stuck. I guess you can move this rook, but not much. He moves the knight, walks into the mate we've been hoping for the entire time. So that's a nice checkmate there. Bishop was way too annoying from H3. So all we need to know is that in this series, the systems we have with black pieces usually involve knight GE7 and knight G6. Helps us get our queen out, pawn to H6, such a key thing because it's so easy to trap your queen or get yourself in a tough spot. Just playing like this, like you just don't really want to do this. The bishop comes here and very uncomfortable so we'd want to play h6 first maybe bishop here to take the knight because the nastiest thing white can do or most annoying is knight d5 we don't have a knight on f6 to get rid of it 
So we're dealing with knight d5, which is why we don't really need this bishop for our attack. We can just give it up. That would be great. Um, d6, queen f6, castle. And then, you know, knight f4, bishop out, basically. That's usually enough to win. All right, we're playing big JFK. Okay, going for the two knights. We can't plunge just yet. Interesting. Play H3. Hmm. Goes with Queen F6. Kind of an interesting idea. Thank you, five is not especially good by me. not like particularly interesting to just trade queens i'm gonna retreat because going anywhere else knight d4 is just annoying so i'd rather just do this castle probably knight d5 let's of course open our pieces up f4 looks very strong with the pressure on f7 here Keep everything alive. Yeah, g6, I think just f4. No need to overthink it. The queen's in a bad spot with uh, the pressure I have on f7. My opponent's, uh, well, this could be calculated, but I would I would normally say a little bit fortunate to not be losing uh, more or significant material. It's, it's a good position, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah, that's a, that's a check, all right. Going here just to st try to stay off the dark squares. Okay, 95 hangs a lot of pieces. And this could be an idea. It's still not even really working, but let's just go check just to get out of that, and then there should be hanging pieces everywhere. This looks like the one to take. There's gonna be, let's say, knight g4 move, or knight d3 move, in that case. Looks like we're gonna get two pieces for the rook no matter what here. Yeah, we can actually take this. I was a little concerned about bishop f6, but maybe we have just rook takes c7 there. Okay, now I can go ahead and take it. Even though, yes, there there are these moves, and I know that he's like creating these admittedly nice tactics. I have three pieces. Like that's that's a lot. That's too much, I think. So the two pieces. I get it, but three is a little bit too much. We have knight d5. Start with the mate threat, just because that's always nice. Try to get him to play c5, and then this d pawn should be quite weak. Oh, you can see he was blundering that. We can maybe drop the bishop back. C7, knight d5. Oops. That's yeah, not even uh, about that anymore. It's actually just about checkmate. 
So this move we can play no matter what. It's either going to be king b8, queen b6 and checkmate next move, or king c6 and immediate checkmate with queen takes on. Big JFK gets shot down. Yeah, I thought this was actually not so bad for him if he just played rook f8. h3. I always like this uh, tactic. If bishop h5, there's a really nice way that white can play. And by the way, in this position, h3 is probably the best move according to the engine. Um, so what I'm talking about is not possible here, but after h3, bishop h5, is anyone familiar with uh, this nice opening trap for white? Bonus marks for the full variation. Chicken Pants very confidently said yes and suggested knight g5, hanging the knight and the queen simultaneously. Remarkable suggestion there, sir. Bishop f7, there's going to be bishop takes f7 at the minimum. Um, a few people have shown a very crafty variation with knight e5, but my question is, what about knight e5? Don't you have uh, <laughs> some problems there? What do we think? Are we watching low elo? We're doing our speed run, but I had a moment of pause, Crosby, because I wanted to show uh, a nice opening trap that White has. Do you know the answer, uh, Crosby87? Low to DLM. Yes, Hella and A.V. Shakespeare, I think, sort of got there at the same time. This is uh, actually not a classic trap, not yet. The classic trap is a little bit different. In this one, there's a, a caveat, which is the extra variation you need to know. In this case, yes. It is the classic, beautiful checkmate that we all know and love. But there's a very important caveat, which is, of course, not this. We'll just take that. But knight takes, because now we kind of look the fool. Bishop e5 check, there's c6. And if we take the bishop, we lose our bishop. And if you're doing the math here, I only have two pieces. Black has three, but at the end of it, we have queen b5 check, winning the knight, which means all in all, we won a pawn in a very nice way. But yeah, you'd need to be familiar with queen b5 check at the end. Otherwise, you could think that you're like a genius going for this queen sack mate, and then the guy takes back and you're like, shit. <laughs> and you think you messed up. Lot 
of calculating for a pawn. Correct. So there you go. That will be the annual tidbit of information. All right, that's taken care of 2024, perfect. All right, B4, E5. Going for our fantastic and highly successful opening, the undefeated. Now, when people go d5 like this and then e4, you first gotta hit him with queen h4, just to check them. A lot of people will play knight c3 here. Um, a lot of people will play g3 here. So we have a good move there. Queen e2, it guards the pawn. But it's not really gonna stop me from my next couple moves. So knight f6 hits the pawn, knight to c3 defends. And I think what we want to do here is just bishop e4. Bishop e4, bishop e4, I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll go this way. I'm not sure it matters. And after bishop d2, which I presume. Okay. Take this. Okay. And we'll grab this. And, okay, this pawn is attacked, but it's more that, I don't know, structure just looks ruined. Probably castle and bring a rook to the e-file very, very quickly. Because he can defend this by going like that, or maybe c4, but rook e8 looks pretty strong. Yeah, so I, I basically, I'm not sure what you're doing about rook e8. It looks pretty frightening. Knight now. If the knight moves, there's simply knight g3 winning, so doesn't feel like an option. Knight f7 is interesting, so we can take the full knight or we can do some discovery with our knight. What should we do? I think the knight discovery is uh, better, but only because of calculation. Otherwise, to play it safe, I would take the knight. If I go knight here, any block like that is silly because you lose the rook and the piece. The king has to move. And then after we take here, we're still threatening the knight. The knight has no square, so it's forced to go to g5. And then we get to take f2 by force. So we get our knight out. If there was no guarantee my knight was getting out, I would not be so interested in this move. But because I can see that my knight escapes for sure, then I can do this. Also, if the king moves, I can bail out and just go knight takes bishop, check, and then king takes, and I'm up a piece. So I'm not even fully committed to this idea. Okay, king d2. Like I said, I think we're gonna take F2's hanging, knight's hanging. There's only one move that saves the knight and we'll just save our knight. And doing the math, we see we're up an entire rook. Probably knight e4 just because trades pieces. Seems, uh, Kind of simple. There's a rant out there about winning a piece instead of the exchange. Absolutely. People constantly mess that up. But obviously here, the debate was whether it's a full rook or a full knight. And that one isn't really a debate. Okay, the rook is going here. Um, usually in situations like this, it's best to just let your opponent blunder. Please, all the way. Damn it, sir. Stop showing understanding. Okay. 
Yeah, right now I have to admit we're not really... We don't feel like we're winning, like, we're not crushing yet, because I haven't developed the, the Rook, which is... Like, I'm actually ahead of that material. I haven't even moved it yet. Hang on. Right when we were hitting all of our bishops. Our, our opponent's gonna run out of time once more. A seven bishop checkmate will have to wait yet again. Don't worry, we're always thinking about it. GG. That was, of course, the England gambit, the undefeated is our variation where we sack our queen. But we never actually got that because he didn't accept it. But d5 is a terrible move. Um, to really like illustrate it, it would be like, hmm. it'd be like e4, d5, and then you give black a free move and they go d4. And you're like, what? Why, why the hell did we do all that? Doesn't make sense. D4, terrible move here. 1060. The openings continue to be effective. We're going e5. F4. Haven't seen this one too, too often. Um, we're going to need something against uh, against this. No, we don't have a special opening. Pretty much never going to see this. Uh, never going to see this opening. So, what can we do? So I'll take to start off. Try to accept that opening. And what is it? 97. We're following uh, Tim and his top theory. 97. How does it work, Tim? B5. Got to be B5, no? I'm going D5. This is high level stuff, guys. Wow. Takes like knight g5. Is that the I mean, who cares? I gotta go for it. This looks like fun. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness. Out of uh, respect for the energy, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm hunting out here with my king. No problem. I'll hunt as well. Easy there, bud. 
little castle. Okay, let's do this. Probably knight d5 after that. C4 looks very likely. Of course, it'll be nice to just toss this move in. Naturally, he'll go there, but then I think we'll play knight e3. He can't castle now. In either direction. Knight d4 coming. And bring pieces to the middle here. And our king is actually very safe. We can always retreat if needed. It's white's pieces that are struggling. A couple pretty nasty looking checks here. We could blunder the e3 knight and then go knight c2, which looks uh, looks very reliable. I'm gonna go rook f8. So I'm hoping to encourage capture, and then we'll be able to take here, which he's definitely forgotten about. is a to take your pick type of position oh my goodness There's so many that's <laughs> so many different things that could be done here i mean queen h1 is just correct <laughs> but man you win a queen in many different ways Seems to get things done. There's no uh, 20,000 bishop mate. GG Carl. This is a King's Gambit, so not really a, a game where we had a specific opening against it, but that's because I'm not gonna bother uh, coming up with an opening against something that I'm gonna see in like, what, 5% less, 3% of my game. King's Gambit is not that popular. All right, we're at uh, 1,068. Let's keep pushing. Here we go, E4. Got the two knights out, and usually this move is not that good in light of knight takes e5, so let's play it. Bishop here, take. f4 is also a uh, the move there. But I'll take. thinking about this, but I don't think I really love that. This move kind of threatens queen d5, queen h5. Uh, queen here seems wrong just because of this. I'm, I'm in here, I'm plunging. Okay, now this one, I've mentioned this uh, type of tactic uh, a lot. Right now the bishop's defending, so don't, don't be a fool and go for it now when it doesn't work. Queen takes is also a threat. I kind of expect knight f6 to be played. I want to play f4 really badly. Bishop here, uh, that's, that's helpful. He's a, 
He's a good guy, isn't he? Appreciate that. Just helping uh, a guy like me out. Queen d3. Making that move possible. Let's take, let's take, let's take. And we really uh, fleeced him there. Okay, knight f6 threatens the e-pawn. f4 traps the bishop, which is what we're going to go for. Uh, e4 is hanging, but not only do we have this check, with this check, we should be good here. Yeah, with this check and then take. We did save the knight here with knight to c7. It's a pretty nice achievement. Maybe we can get rook c8. Thank you. Appreciate that there, bud. Making it nice and easy for me. No one expects a queen on h3. Come on now. That's unusual, even for the highest level of chess. Hold the KOs, everyone. Hold the KOs. Yep, save them for 1100. Okay, h4. It's a good thing we spent uh, a lot of time coming up with an opening against h4. This is key. Without our, without our opening idea here, we wouldn't stand a chance. Okay, the idea is to do this. That's the idea. Naturally, he's in an aggressive mood, so he doesn't really feel like trading queens, which is why we can take this, no problem. Wow, he took. I'm in shock, my friend. In shock. Normally people that chuck the H pawn, chuck the A pawns, like they're not really trying to trade queens. I'm very surprised by that. All right, 95 admittedly is an annoying move. I'm probably gonna take steps to prevent that. This pawn is just so nice. Let's do this, let's take the rook. Again, it's just that long range. Same thing with my queen last game. Like those long range pieces, people don't stand a chance. I knew he was gonna play rook d1. Let's go. E4, d6. Okay, we don't have much against that. I'll play the knights out. G6. I suppose we should take the center. Yeah, I don't have much against this. I'll just develop. Should we do e5 is happening next that much we know how to arrange the pieces hmm. we'll rook d1 probably take it honestly Put the queen somewhere let him have this bishop. Doesn't look like it's that good. Maybe queen e3 was nice. Uh, that way the bishop could 
come back to F1 like it would be a threat. Not necessary, but I think it would have been nice. Let's go here. C6 is a good move, by the way. Queen D2, Bishop F1. Okay, I don't know about opening the game with a rook literally aimed at your queen there, but if I go here, there is knight takes C3, so I am going to take that. Queen takes is very bold, so it should be with the pawn. I'll just go C3. Rook e8, there's bishop b5, but the knight can just retreat nicely. Although I'm not really sure that's something to be upset about. This doesn't quite work. We're trying to get the move f6 out of him. To me, the move f6 is just not a good move. Maybe we can bring the bishop back like this. So a couple options. I'll play the, not sure about bishop a4, knight c4, I would return bishop b3. I think we can just gang up on that pawn here. He has knight c4, so. It's not like outrageous for him. Bishop's not doing much, so I think I'll probably take. And then rook, uh, rook e1. Double up here. These pieces are kind of tied to the pawn, so wouldn't be surprised to see that move. We can investigate with queen f7, how he wants to react. Just see, I don't know if this is gonna go back. Then we'll return and probably play a different move, maybe queen e7. Take it in uh, probably opening middle game. Yeah, I mean, that was a bit of a slip up, but <laughs> not that bad at all. might trade pieces here. Um, he shouldn't, but I don't know. I see it. It happens. Take this. We can pre-move it because you know, there really isn't anything that we'll be able to do about that. Hmm. GG. It's always my opponents who flag. I'm only winning on time. You can tell I'm really an equal to these players. It's just the time. Think about this game for my opponent here. Fantastic stuff.
opening was solid. I mean, it, it wasn't one that we had a particular opening against, so I just I just played what I thought was a pretty normal solid system. We had a great opening, kind of knew what to do, give up one bishop, play e5. He opened the position, which he probably shouldn't have, but you know, when you make a poor decision and then still handle it decently well after, that's almost more impressive. We'll take that nice win there. We'll see if we can go one more. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be two more. It looks like it's gonna be two more. 20 kick subs from Baz Mania. Thank you, Baz. Is this guy gonna just sense the danger? Unbelievable. Baz Mania, go Leafs. Go, Matthew Nice. And go, Leafs. All right, we're just we're just playing the French here. We just play the main line. I mean, the nice thing about this is you have to remember at the start of the game, this guy wanted to play a French. Right, so by doing this, we're not really doing ourselves any favors here. We should be seven. 95 is kind of a threat here, so I suppose I'll deal with that. Okay. Bishop here we have d3. Recycling our night over. He's playing well. C4, D4, D4, C4, you know. Now this bishop is not great with that wall of pawns. F6 is a make or break move, yeah. If not a great move by him but if he doesn't do it I feel like he's I feel like he's in big trouble so I wasn't really sure what to recommend for him instead there double up he's going to give us this pawn I imagine he'll play there we can take another pawn or trade queens but seeing as we're already up two pawns it's very tempting to just get the queens off the board and keep it simple also, uh, this way we keep our seven bishop dream alive. Okay, let's kick that thing out. Here, let's, uh, I guess, tie a rook down. Remember, we don't want to even win the bishop for a pawn, technically, but he doesn't know that. Rookie six may almost get a checkmate, but. Here, I don't want to really allow that. Let's go here and probe around, see what he's up to.
Okay. A5 is happening. What do about A5? Like, I guess have the bishop there. Okay, this is better. Really trying to keep all my pawns here. All right, well, I think we did it in the best way possible. At the end of the game, we had seven pawns, so the dream was still alive, and our opponent ran out of time. Oh, if he didn't run out of time, I would have made it in with seven bishops. Come on now. Such a shame. Yep, yeah, I'm always going for the flag. All right, one more question mark. So against this move, yeah, I'll play this. Normally you get knight c6, and then we'll plunge in with this fantastic opening, the Pegasus plunge. I'm bringing 2,900 prep, queen e2 and a4, down to the 1,100 level to beat this guy. It's, it's necessary. It's what must be done. Okay, let's push. He goes here, naturally. Let's push again. We'll probably see this. Let's give a check. And if we see that, I think we'll actually bring the uh, bishop back here. It'd be nice. We can castle as well, but I'm not sure. Maybe we should just leave the king for the uh, d1 square. And I think F four normally the pressure there. Bring our king out. Normally you want to trade like one pair of rooks, but not more than one. Because then you kind of run out of uh, run out of firepower a little bit. I would go here, but I don't think we need to. Um, we could consider this. Rook a4, then the bishop goes back, though. I mean, h3 is going to be a great move, but rook here, bishop back, rook c4, bishop here. Not exactly doing it. We can go to b4. Yeah, bishop d7 and rook b4. It looks funny, but I think we win that pawn there. And at long last, the Pegasus plunge 21 moves deep into the game reveals its true power. There we go. We win one pawn and it's doubled.
and the pawns are on the same color as the bishops that remain on the board. So as you can see, huge achievements here. How are we gonna continue this fantastic grind? Here, honestly, bishop f5 is not that bad. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go here. I have to leave my king here to watch all these squares. This rook certainly can readjust. Did this work? At least now he has to play that. Maybe c4 here. I think we're getting somewhere. Uh, I think we can take here. And the beauty of the Pegasus Plunge. Guess this. It's a safe free move. That's not a safe free move. That's a safe free move. Also a safe free move. Looks like stalemate, but it's not. Very good game. Jay Gearin. Very well played. Now you can release the KOs. You've been holding them, right? Very nice. We crossed 1100. The threshold. Feeling good about that.